takes a spat this time and tries to make some headway and the referee saw some holding back by Kilkenny and it's going to be a free for Galway who although not scoring very much in the second half continue to be very very competitive yeah look at Ir Latanian again how many balls has he won in that position just watch him there driving out with the ball you know, he, lost, he kind of lost possession but to at one stage, Michael, a little while back, about five, six, seven minutes ago, when he did get injured, I saw a signal from one of the medical people that he might not be able to continue no, against yeah, Sobrady. He's he, does, he wasn't going to leave no, the No, he's been in the middle of everything, but he's, he's really read the ball very, very well, picked up an awful lot of breaking ball, just you know behind, in front and be, of his half-back and full-back line. Another big one for Joe Canning. Can he land it? The answer is yes! 1-8 for Joe Canning. Out of Galway's 2-12 and Galway lead the final by a point. Six minutes to go. Is it to be Galway's fifth ever All-Ireland win or Kilkenny's 34th? The next six minutes will tell the story, we think. There's already been a draw here in the minor, Dublin and Tipperary drawing. Irla Tanyan going forward, aware that he was going to be hooked. Tries to hold on to it somehow, being helped by Joseph Cooney, but they lose the ball to Richie Hogan, and he was fouled as he was coming out, and it's got to be a free. I see Andy Smith on the uh, ground. Yeah, I think after he was fouled there, he might have swung back to Hurl. If you just watch here, high tackle there by Andy Smith. No, I didn't. I think it was from the tackle itself. Andy hurt himself when he went into the tackle. I don't think that Richie Hogan caught him. No, I didn't. No, I didn't he catch did swing. him. But you'd have to say, you know, Italian has been hugely influential. But look what's come down to at the end of the day. It's really a shootout between Joe Cannon and Henry Shefton. You know, absolutely. Henry has 10 points, Joe has won eight. And these frees, I've often said it before, you're out in the middle of Croke Park, 80,000 people, and you're 90, 100 yards out. They're not easy. And the pressure is on all the time. And both of them are giving great displays here today. Free coming up for Henry Shefflin. Just listen to the cheers of the rival fans here Galway fans willing their team to get over the line at the end of the 70 minutes Kilkenny fans so used to being at Croke Park wanting another player will be on next will be Davy Glennon if he does come on for Galway he's being readied anyway and they've also got a number 21 being prepared to come in and that's Ty Harron Henry Shefflin striking Henry puts it over. An immense performance by Henry Shefflin during the second half. He had four points from Freeze in the first half. He's got another seven. And it's now 2 12 for Galway, 18 points for Kilkenny, 18 points apiece. Teams level now for the fourth time. It's been a brilliant contest. You're absolutely every single ball been fiercely contested since the start of the game. And it's swung both ways and now it looks down to the last few minutes. Absolutely riveting and full credit to both teams. Shame there should be a loser, but that's sport. Matt Ruth couldn't take it. Irla Tanyan can. What a game he's put in there in the middle of the park. Again, Paul Murphy. Steady as ever. Brilliant as usual. Big one all the way down to Larkin, the captain. Trying to get the better here of the fullback. Oh, and Larkin goes down. Is it a penalty? Referee is racing in there. He's waving. Dramatically late in this final, with 67 minutes gone, Kilkenny have a chance here from a penalty to seal the All-Ireland, maybe. This is how it came about, Larkin going down, goalkeeper came diving out, and there was a back there as well, and uh, James Skehel has got a yellow card for that, but there could be further trouble ahead. Usually, it's Fergal Moore and Tony O'Gregan on the goal line with goalkeeper James Skell for penalties. Yeah, look, that was, it was reckless by James Skell. He dived out with the two feet, took the legs. There was, I don't know if Fawn Larkin was going to get control of the ball, but it's a penalty now. And in a tight game like this, there is a tendency maybe to tap it over the bar and go point up, but I think he'll have to go for it. It's the winning of the game is in this puck. Henry Shefflin, 61st Championship match for the 33-year-old from Ballyhale. He's got 11 points in this match so far, seven of them in the second half. The team's level at 18 points apiece, or 12 to 18 points. Henry Shefflin striking, and he's put it up high, up into the upper tier of the stand at the Davin end. He's got a 12th point, wasn't going for a goal there, wasn't taking a chance. Kilkenny by one. I think that's a big, big, that's a big, big call. You know, if he'd scored a goal, more than likely the game was over. Goal will be relieved from that, and it just shows you the tension that's out there. It's such a tight game, and uh, big, big call by Henry Shefflin.
Debbie Glennon has come on, and Damien Hayes is the one who has been taken off the Galway team. Who's going to win it? Kilkenny margin are ahead. Galway still with possession here, and Ir Latanian up into the clouds. Back down it comes into the hand of David Burke. Foul, free in. Chance for Joe Canny to come out and to get another one. He's got a goal in eight so far, and his team is a point behind in the 2012 All-Ireland Hurling Final. Big moment again. We've had plenty of big moments at this match. David Burke there. The ball went shooting up into the air. No great direction, but he showed bravery to go in and catch it. And he's been a consistent performer. It's been a, a nervous, edgy final for the fans, maybe. But for those of us watching here, absolutely thrilling. Absolutely. And a great, great catcher by David Burke and a high, or a high tackle by Richie Hogan. And now Joe Cannon, pressure back on him. About 50 metres out. Pretty central. Can he make it? And he's put it wide. He's missed it. Big miss, huge miss. Ball were behind by a point still. Kilkenny ahead by 19 points to 2-12. So very rarely do Kilkenny win finals without scoring goals. I know, and you know, that just shows the nerves of the occasion. Joe Cannon, look, he's had a he's had a great game and to miss a free like that and Hopefully it doesn't come down to that. Three additional minutes to be played, so we've now got three minutes and ten seconds to go. David Herity to pocket out. Kilkenny clinging to their one-point lead. Goal, we need to get the ball back. They have it back, and it's Tony O'Gregan. Dishing off the hand pass to David Collins. It breaks back into the middle as far as TJ Reid, elegantly outside for Michael Fennelly. And then Henry Shefflin, who lets fly and who puts the ball away to the left-hand side and has missed the opportunity to add to his 12 points. It stays Kilkenny, 19 points. Galway, two goals and 12. The tension is unbelievable. That was a, I thought Michael Fenley just should have put that over the bar himself and he did the right thing, gave it to the marksman and he put an easy wide as well and it just... There's an awful lot of tension out there at the moment. There hasn't been a draw to hurling final since 1959. Here's here the Tanyan. And Tanyan drives it away into Hill 16, but away to the right-hand side of the post, and he's missed it. And that is 13 wides now for Galway, and they're shooting themselves in the foot and throwing it away. They've had a guilt-edged opportunity of winning this final. There's still a bit of time, another two minutes of added time to play. Out comes the puck out through David Herity. The next score is crucial now. Shefflin again, again masterminding this performance by Kilkenny, but he's dropped it short. And James Skettle drills it out into the middle. The referee allows play to continue as Tommy Welch went to the ground there. Cyril Donlan was his marker. It's going to be a line ball for Galway. The manager's pacing up and down. Words of advice there from Anthony Cunningham. You see Brian Cody here pointing to his backs. Get into position. Close the gaps. What a what a match it has been. Irlatania dropped in here. Murphy winning the race. Can he get it away? Well, as far as Richie Hogan, ever the star. Well away from danger. Another one minute and 20 seconds or thereabouts to go in the final. Tanya trying to get it back. Davy Glennon, will he be the hero? They need a score. He drives into the back to Jackie Turrell this time. He wins a free. And there's an opportunity as Jackie Turrell gets a yellow card for that. There's an opportunity once again as the managers exchange angry glances and a few words. Such is the tension of the occasion. Obviously, it's that last call. Yeah, absolutely. Did he charge? Did he not? Yeah, well, I, I think there was a ball there in the wing. Tommy Walsh attacked the ball, might have been fouled, didn't get the free in. And then David Lennon just ran into him there. And Brian Cody, very, very animated. And Anthony Cunningham standing his ground. And look, at, that's what happened in Ireland finals. This to tie up the All-Ireland final and take it, I imagine, to a replay. Joe Canning with a goal and eight. The pressure of the entire county Galway on his shoulders. He's got it right, he's put it over the bar! A goal and nine for Joe Canning. After the lapses, he had the composure and the confidence to step up and to take it, and surely now to bring the match to a replay. 20... 2-9 to 13 to 19 points, and the referee has blown the whistle. It's all over for the first time since 1959, when Kilkenny drew with Waterford. The match is going to go to a replay. Brian Cody, Anthony Cunningham, still with a few words there. Much of it to do with that last call, I think, but it all ends very amicably 
And the two I managers... I don't know how amicable it was. Brian, Ho Brian Cody was pointing they the were finger. Smiling. They were smiling at the end, but the tension... I don't think I've ever... It's a long time to experience tension like that at the end of a game. And I'd have to say, just from a player's point of view, a personal point of view, I'm delighted that it didn't end with Joe Canning missing the free, you know, after he played so well over the years as well. He's been such a tally man, tallies man. And to then have the composure to knock over the last by point. And I think a, a draw is a fair result today. You can see the relief, I think, from both sets of players. Don't forget delighted. that both matches today ended level because Dublin's minors drew 116 to Tipperary's 213. Anthony Cunningham there with a shake of the hands of referee Barry Kelly. Look, full credit to both teams. They gave us a marvellous, marvellous match because I know a lot of people who didn't give Galway any chance whatsoever, but they stormed into that match and they were full value for their lead at half-time of five points. They gave away a few stupid frees towards the end of the first half. Kilkenny had the better of the second half. Henry Shefflin was a leader all the way through, got 12 points in all. Galway are already in the wind-down. They're already preparing for the replay. We're looking forward to it, but uh, what a conclusion to that game. Absolutely, and, you know, it's a cliche that the draw is a fair result, but I think on the balance of play, I think Galway completely dominated the first half. They were all over Kilkenny, and Kilkenny were in big, big trouble. They didn't spend much time in the dressing room, they were back on the field, and then they took over. Galway struggled to score for a long time in the second half, and yet, you know, they got a goal, Niall Burke got a great finish. They made some big calls on the sideline, taking off Niall Burke, who scored 1-2, bringing on Conor Cooney, taking them off again. They're big calls in the Ireland final, and at the end of the day, I think a draw was a fair result, and Henry Shefflin had a penalty, he scored many of them over the years. He, he tapped it over the bar, and I think that was a big, big decision by him. It left Galway within a point, and at the end of the day, they got the draw, and I think they deserved it. And look at great, an awful lot of tension, as I say. Maybe not the highest score and most free flowing game of all time, but I really enjoyed it. It was a great battle, and looking forward to the replay. Don't forget, Michael, that Galway got just a, a goal and a point from play during that entire second half. They were dependent on Joe Canning to get three points from Freeze as well. replay of this match will be Sunday the 30th of September and that is an occasion which I know every Kilkenny and Galway hurling fans will not want to miss they have uh, a few weeks now to prepare for it who's going to be the more disappointed oh I think probably you know I think Galway will be the more disappointed I think they'll be both obviously very disappointed but I think Galway you know they're in such a great position uh, the huge support up here Kilkenny have won so much you know and like they're a great team but Nobody outside of Kilkenny, Cork and Tip, as we discussed before the game, private limits, has won all Ireland since 1998. And, uh, since I think Offaly. Since Offaly in 98. I'm not bringing that into it because of that. But uh, look, at a great occasion. The replay on the 30th of September. And look, we really look forward to that. And it'll give people three weeks to get a few quid back in their pockets and come back to Dublin <laughs> again for the weekend. Well, the last time there was a draw, it was 1959. Kilkenny and Waterford drew on that occasion and Waterford who might well have been seen as the underdogs at that stage went and won the replay will Galway do something similar Anthony Cunningham there with uh, Matty Kenny and Tom Hellebert right in the thick of that and having words with their charges it has been a memorable All-Ireland final for many reasons I yes, there were errors, but there was also a whole series of heroic performances. Uh, yeah, I think the lads are getting a bit off their chest there, the, the selectors and management, but that's worthless to the players. Their heads are full of other things now, disappointment, relief, everything else, and they're getting a great reception, and look at win. We have a few weeks now, we've done the Gala Mayo to look forward to in a couple of weeks, and then the summer will be dragged down by another couple of weeks now, and that's the, I'm really looking forward to the replay. A reminder then of the score at full time, it's Galway, two goals and 13 points, Kilkenny, 19 points. No cup today, Michael, but a lot of good memories.